What is up? I'm not sure if we're live because we're using Zoom today so I can share my screen and draw you some pretty little pictures. I uh, wanted to go live to share with you the three stages of lead nurturing. I don't know if that's what Brad Newman uh, called this, but when he showed me this two weeks ago, I was like, that all fucking makes sense. Like now I know where to focus my time. I know where to tell my clients to focus their time when it comes to lead nurturing. And there are just three simple stages to it. And once you know these stages, you will easily be able to know where to direct your attention to find the lowest hanging fruit and to capture that, uh, capture the lowest hanging fruit, those sales. So I don't wanna waste any time. Uh, I want to provide you guys as much value as possible because uh, the group growth and monetization blueprint is closing its cart on Friday. It is the best program out there on how to grow a Facebook group, how to launch a digital product and how to sell it. And actually Brad Newman has three epic trainings inside of the group growth and monetization blueprint around sales mindset, sales, uh, his sales script and sales objections. And if you know, don't know Brad Newman, he has sold over $3 million worth of digital products online. Absolutely amazing dude. Uh, and we are gonna get into the training right now. If I can see some people on here, if you guys are with me, hit that heart, hit that like button, helps the algorithm. Um, and uh, we will get rocking and rolling in just a second here. Uh, the more people we reach or the, more engagement we get, the more people we can reach, the more people we can help. Got that one from Josh Forty back in the day. Um, so hit that heart button, hit that like button, and we will get rocking and rolling. So these are the three stages of lead nurturing. Right? So what is the very first stage of lead nurturing? Well, very first, you need to get them as a lead, right? So they're officially a lead if you put up a post saying, hey, I have this thing to offer. They say, hey, I want that offer. They comment down below, cool, they're a lead. Uh, if you are running Facebook ads, they opt into your webinar or your lead magnet, whatever it is, they're a lead. Uh, anything like that where they're raising their hand saying, hey, I want something you have to offer. And you should never stop generating leads. You should never ever stop using call to actions and all of that, that stuff. So, um, so that's the very first step. You need to constantly be adding leads to your pipeline, right? So you get them as a lead, and if none of if this doesn't make sense, comment down below, and I'll make sure they all make sense for you. But uh, constantly be pumping in leads. So whether that's through paid traffic or organic traffic, leads get people to raise their hand for what you have to offer, whatever it is. So once you get them as a lead, the next stage is prospecting, right? So they commented, they said, I want that right? So then it is your job to, or your salespeople's job to go in there and to ask them about them. Like you want to figure out what is, uh, what's their current situation? What's their desired situation? What are their perceived challenges? Um, what, uh, what's their background information and any sense of urgency, figure out how urgent it is for them to fix that problem, right? So you prospect, you ask those questions to nail down, um, nail down how hot of a prospect they are. Or this could be through paid traffic where you get people to opt in and then you have them fill out an application. And really there, you're trying to figure out the same things. Current situation, desired situation, uh, perceived challenges, background information, level of urgency, right? So now they're in the prospecting stage. They fill that out or they answer the questions. They're in the prospecting stage there, right? Then the last stage is the sales opportunity. Now they're a sales op. They filled out everything. They booked a call. 
they are a sales opportunity. They are in your pipeline to be closed. So these are your lowest hanging fruit. I can't tell you how many times somebody, um, uh, somebody or one of my clients has somebody that books a call and then either they cancel the call or forget about the call or they get close to booking the call uh, and they're just like a few more things that they have to say and then they totally forget about them and then that person goes away for months and months and they're gone forever. That was their lowest hanging fruit. That is your lowest hanging fruit. The people that are closest to that sales opportunity. So if you're looking to drum up new sales, start backwards. Start figuring out, hey, where have I lost those sales opportunities? Like, where were those people really close to hopping on a call with me? And then I just forgot about them. Or who have I engaged in a prospecting conversation with? Or who has filled out those applications and just didn't, just didn't book the call? And then you go to your leads, right? So this is your focus. You work backwards. You start with focusing on your sales opportunities. Then you focus on the people that you've prospected. Then you focus on your leads. So if you're looking for your lowest hanging fruit, the people that are closest to closing right now, just refocus um, where you're putting your attention. It should be on sales opportunities, then prospecting, then leads. People in the sales opportunity stage, prospecting opportunity stage, or prospecting stage, and then lead stage. So I want to give you guys that quick golden nugget. Um, if this helped, drop a heart, drop a like, uh, and, uh, and don't forget group growth and monetization blueprint is closing out this Friday, last time to get the best program in the world on how to grow a Facebook group, how to launch a digital product. Um, and how to sell inside of Messenger and on uh, sales calls. So that's everything I got for you right now. Uh, if you guys have any questions about that, drop me a PM. I hope this was helpful. And I uh, actually don't know how to get out of here. <laughs> Let's see. There we go. Guys, have a great Tuesday. Don't catch coronavirus. Uh, and uh, much love. And send me a PM if you're on the fence about GGMB so I can answer any and all of your questions. Uh, I really don't want you guys to miss out um, because it really is a life-changing program and I'd love for you to be a part of it. And uh, that's it for this live, you guys. Hope you got a lot of it and I will see you later.